How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore Window Tending and Paint Protection Film. And today, let's go ahead and finish up this Dodge Hellcat hood. So what we're going to do here, basically I just finished this install on this hood. So this paint protection was, you know, I just squeegeed out all the moisture. And this is just the next step after squeegeeing all the water out, all the soapy water. So what I'm doing here is trimming off all these edges. And I'm going to do this in a couple different ways in this video. One is going to be where I use this pair of Ulfa knife scissors. And then there will be, uh, on the other side, you'll see that I start using a just a regular Ulfa knife to trim this. I kind of go back and forth between the two depending on, depending on the hood and where I'm trying to cut down into. Uh, will make a difference on which one works a little bit better than the other. So you'll see there that I'm pulling away with the material. To the left there with my left hand, I'm pulling away with the material. And that's an important step when you're, when you're trimming this stuff. Uh, if it's, you know, if you let it hang there and you don't have tension on it, it's just going to bunch up on the other side of the scissors. And so it's definitely important that you keep that tension on it. And I found that pulling it, you know, like straight away, straight out with some tension works well, as well as I prefer to pull it a little bit towards me with some tension. Um, so maybe like a 45 degree angle away from the hood. And just make sure in situations like this when you're leaning over the car that you don't have anything in your pouch that's going to scratch something. Uh, it's definitely something to just pay attention to. So I think on this one I probably have maybe just a couple blades sticking out. Just enough to get me through the material and allow me to cut through it. And then I'm going to go around this direction just with the Ulfa blade this time. And the amount of edge that we're trying to cut off is going to be, I'd say, anywhere from an eighth of an inch. That What we're trying to leave is about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of material to wrap underneath the hood. So it's definitely important, like you saw me there, untack that from the bumper. If any part is stuck down, you're going to want to go ahead and, and pop that up. So right there on the corner, what you'll notice is that the amount of material that I leave on those corners on the very edge is going to be an eighth of an inch or less so that I can heat that and then just tuck it right over that edge. We are having to pop it out of those, uh, the the body line there that I had tucked that down in to hold it in place, popping that out so that we can go ahead and trim it off. And this type of trimming definitely takes some practice because it's important, obviously, that when you're going, when you're cutting over the top of the fender, you don't want to hit the paint on the fender. So just make sure you're real careful about that. I'm going to go ahead and just quickly tuck these back in to make sure that that material doesn't try to lift at all on those edges. So once we get all this trimmed off, the next technique that I'm going to use is called a pre uh, a pre wrap. And it's I mean, it's a vital part of the install. And if you've watched some other people installing paint protection film, you'll watch, you'll see that they skip this part. Um, and it's definitely something that is hugely um, helped improve the installations that we do here at the shop and I'll sh I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like and then we'll also explain why so once you've got the whole edge trimmed off all the way around we're going to go ahead and spray some rubbing alcohol or tack solution in there and basically at this point we're just trying to eliminate all, any of the soapy water from there as well as we're trying to get that adhesive to be a little bit more aggressive so that we can go ahead and pre-wrap all these edges. 
And then once once the pre-wrap is complete, that's when I'm going to go ahead and lift this hood up and then just let it sit there and dry until all the moisture on the edges is dry. And then you come back and actually do the wrap where you use some heat and you wrap that edge and, and tack it to underneath the hood. So this is this right here is, is what we call a pre-wrap. And basically what I'm doing is taking that edge of the material and I'm wrapping it around to at least the side of the hood, if not a little bit underneath. And the, the big deal with this is that if you were to go ahead and leave that material just hanging just like it is, you're going to end up with a line on that edge where it dries. As well as when you go back later to go ahead and wrap that edge, if you happen to leave a little air bubble behind when you're wrapping the edge, uh, maybe you push over, maybe you roll one part underneath the hood and then right next to it, a little part starts to tack down. That's going to leave a little air pocket on the top of the hood that you're then going to have to pick the material back up in order to get that air pocket out. So the pre-wrap eliminates all of that. And, and so also when I'm talking about this and I'm saying that the material can have an, uh, basically a little white edge where it dries, where it meets, where it's actually stuck to the hood, if that makes sense. So let's see, how else can I explain that? Basically the area that's, that's hanging over the edge, uh, where the moisture dries right where the paint protection film is adhering to the hood, you can get a white line right there when all of the rubbing or the tack solution dries and that's really only going to be you know mostly that's going to be noticeable on really dark cars so black is a is a big one and so this process eliminates you from seeing that as well as like i said it eliminates those any air getting trapped or dirt getting up under those edges and then you have that when you go to do your when you wrap those edges in the end this eliminates all those problems so this is a great step and if it's not if it's something that you're not currently doing i would definitely recommend it it makes the wrapping part so much faster in the end it is a little tedious i mean you have to go around if you've been you know if you've been paying attention here it's not a really quick process you're probably going to have an extra 10 minutes maybe at the most in pre-wrapping it might not take 10 minutes actually Maybe, I think usually I, I kind of figure it's going to take me two and a half minutes a side or so. But it's definitely beneficial. So at this point, now that I pre-wrapped those edges, now is the point where I'm going to eventually here put the hood up. And we're going to go ahead and let this sit for a couple hours until all of the moisture is completely dried out from the edges. So I'm going to, at this point I would move on to another part of the vehicle fenders and whatnot and then come back to this once it's completely dry all right and then when we're letting a, a hood sit we're always going to pretty much always going to open it not allow the water to run down and and run out and then help those areas to to you know get some of that moisture off that could just be resting there as well as it gets the hood out of the way so that you can do fenders and things like that all right so that probably sat for you know at least a couple hours now those edges are completely dry and we're going to go ahead and just do the final uh, the heat seal on the edges so we're going to wrap these and then we're going to heat seal them basically kind of at the same time so what we're doing is putting a little bit, of, so those edges are completely dry, so the it, adhesive is quite tacky at this point. And we're going to go ahead and put some heat on that to also make it even more aggressive and help that film really relax. And then roll it to underneath the hood. So on these edges, because I left just just a tiny bit hanging over that corner, put a little bit of heat on it, wrap it under, 
and then you're going to have a really nice edge where you're not going to see the edge of the material on that corner and then you won't have a bunch left over either to bunch up underneath while you're trying to wrap it to the underneath the hood. And the heat sealing the edges is really just going to lock the material down and keep it st stuck down. So you end up having a, a lot less issues with it popping up over time. We heat seal every edge, every time on all of our installs. All right, so let's move on to these, this vent here in the hood. And so what I'm gonna do is cut these, cut it in all four, basically all four corners here. And that's gonna help relieve a lot of the tension on the material so that I can wrap it to the underneath the hood. So we went ahead and, and did that little splice in it. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some heat on it and then wrap it around to the underneath of the hood. You could trim it off right there at the edge, but definitely I've found with these that every once in a while, some of the vents, when you put them back in, they'll rub and they'll end up bunching the material up and causing it to pop up. It doesn't happen all the time, but I've also found that as long as I wrap it under and stick it to the bottom side of the hood, we don't that eliminates that issue for a potential problem. And also make sure that before you did the, even started this install, install, that you went through and used straight rubbing alcohol on all of these edges. So we basically just pour it on a towel and then we go anywhere where we're going to be tacking that material to underneath the hood. We want to clean all those areas because those are all areas that are going to get a lot of wax buildup from like this car here. The reason that we're installing paint protection on, or you know, the not the reason why we're installing paint protection film but this is a little bit older of a hood as far as uh, hellcats go and this was a repaint so this car has been repainted and so what we're doing here then is there's going to be a lot of wax buildup potentially in those areas and so making sure that you clean those before you start this install is important Otherwise, when you go to wrap this material, it's obviously not going to stick and you're just going to have problems with it peeling up and it's going to be really difficult to recover from that without just trimming the film off right at the edge. So once again, we'll go ahead and relieve the tension in the four corners and then we'll go ahead and wrap these. So I think my heat gun is probably, I'd say somewhere, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 800 to 900 degrees is what we're working with when we're um, heat sealing the edges. I'll also put into the description the a link to some of the tools used here maybe the wagner heat gun which is pretty generic i mean i think you can even pick those up at home depot but the ulfa um, scissors i'll put a link in there to those so hey if you guys found anything useful with this video uh, please like and subscribe because we'll definitely be coming out with more videos the plan is to do minimum of one a week So definitely appreciate you guys taking a look. 
and we'll see you on the next one.